Hey guys, welcome to the second episode of my unusual trading series. Last episode we ended off with 37 keys and a bit of metal. Um, this episode we made a lot of profit. Uh, a sizable amount. I'm not going to say it's insane, but it's pretty good for what we, we ended off with the last episode on. Um, I did have some rough moments, <laughs> some tilt moments, but... We push through like always, and um, it really paid off. But uh, thanks for tuning in, and I hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, so I just bought a Spectral Spectrum Snow Scoper for six keys pure. Uh, if you look at the classifieds for a Snow Scoper with Spectral Spectrum, there are no others on the market. Uh, only voices, pigmentation die job and chromatic are uh, on the market oh and also footprints gangrene uh, chromatic was being sold for 16 and spectral spectrum and chromatic are uh, similar in value uh, most people would agree and uh, since there was one selling for 16 and no other chromatic or no other spectrals for sale i figured six was a pretty good deal for one uh, it has a pretty decent paint region as well, so uh, yeah, we'll see where that gets us. So I just accepted the trade, and this is what the spell looks like in-game. As you can see, the sleeves change color. I think that's really neat. It's got a pretty pretty big paint region if you ask me damn all right well i'll get back to you guys when i get any trade we've got what the snow scopers and around oh geez let me sort this bitch out real quick we've got 31 keys and this spectral spectrum snow scoper i'll let you guys know when i get another trade Five minutes after I bought this snow scoper for six keys, a friend of mine, uh, Red PK, was buying spells, so I hit him up and I asked him how much he could do for these uh, snow scopers, and he said he could do ten. So uh, I I immediately accepted, and that's an easy four keys profit right there in what like like five minutes. So uh, that's crazy good. Yeah, man. So what we've got. 41 keys pure now i'll get back to you guys when i get another trade hey guys so i know it's late and i did this trade like really early in the morning but uh i found a guy quick selling this wintery spirit second rate sorcery uh he was quick selling it for 17 keys on backpack and i just happened to see it and so i sent him an offer of 17 and he accepted so uh I think that's a really good, good fucking snag like there's a seller at 40 and i bought it for what like 14 ref over by orders on a really high tier taunt so i think i can make at least 25 out of this if i try it but i'll get back to you guys hey guys so i just quick bought a chromatic corruption bone delir uh for four keys and a bit of scrap uh, this is what it looks like in game. It's the thing on my on the strap of the soldier, like the the skulls. I think it looks really nice. Um, changes colors. Got a huge paint region. Yeah, I mean, I bought this because Sinister, I believe, was going for yeah three keys. Uh, Petrescin was going for three keys as well. Uh, and then I saw a chromatic going for 10 keys from another guy, so I felt like 4 was a great quick sell. Um, I wouldn't be too... No, I would actually be happy if I sold this for even just 5 keys and a quick 1 key profit. But I'll get back to you guys uh, once I find another trade. Uh, right now we've got the Bone Delir, uh, the Winter Spirit second right sorcery and 20 keys pure uh buy orders add up to like well i bought this for buy orders for 17 so we still have around 41 keys if we count this as four keys 
Uh, I'll get back to you guys when I find another trade. Hey guys, so I just sold the Bondelier for seven keys to Scoot. Uh, just just for comparison, I, I bought it for four keys at 811, and I sold it not even an hour later for three keys profit. So spells are really desirable. Like I can't stress it enough. Like people will pay for spells, uh, but um, accepting the trade uh, just now, or I just accepted it. So now we're left with 27 keys and uh, a taunt that has buyers at around 17 as well. So that's like 44 keys. Uh, yeah, I'll get back to you guys when I find a, another trade. Please, please don't, please don't be like this, like, oh, I just got offered five refined over buy orders, it, it, like, like, I, I don't understand, but, whatever. Hey guys, so I just quick bought a Scorching Flames Killing Tree for 36 keys pure, uh, I believe, wait, no. Not 36. <laughs> 26. Right? I think it's 26. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26. 26 keys pure. Uh, it has buy orders at 25.29 and SLR at 40, so I bought it for less than a key over buy orders. Um, Renegade's a pretty chill dude, so um, yeah, he said he just wanted some quick pure, so I was happy to do that. It is one of four in existence as well, so I think that I can at least sell it for like 32 keys if I tried. Um, but yeah, what we have now, I'll accept the trade, is the Killing Tree, um, the second rate Sorcery Taunt, and these are not part of the series, I don't know why this got there, and a key. Uh, I've got a current offer of 20 keys on the... Uh, the second rate sorcery and um if we just price this at what we paid for at 26 keys that would be 46 uh we'd be at 47 keys right now i'll get back to you guys when i find another trade Hey guys, so I just sold the uh, Thingamabobber, the taunt for 20 keys pure. Uh, we bought it for 17, so that's three keys profit. Uh, it did take a bit of time to sell. I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna include this. Um, I've gotten, I've got really horrible offers on it. Uh, I've got like a ref over but I got I actually got offered five ref over buy orders for it I still couldn't believe it like it's like oh my god how are you gonna like lowball that bad but like we pulled through at the end 20 is not that bad of an offer that's just some three keys profit I mean I thought there was a seller at 40 so I thought we could get so much more out of it but I guess nobody else had faith in the unusual so I mean I'm not against buying taunts like unusual taunts but I'd probably advise getting taunts for for pretty cheap i mean i know it may sound hypocritical but like i mean don't offer five ref over buy orders unless it's like has like no margin at all but you don't want to stray too far away from buy orders even if you think it has potential because other people have the same mentality that they're not going to be able to make too much from the taunt so they're going to want to uh give you really bad quick sell offers but I mean, in the end, we pulled through, and now uh, we've got 21 keys pure, I think. Uh, yep, we've got 21 keys pure. These are not part of the trading series. And, and we got this Scorching Flames Killing Tree as well. Uh, this is about, what, like 47 in buy orders? Uh, if we can sell this for, like, three keys over buy orders i mean it's scorching flames so we'd be getting what like 40 we getting we'd be getting like 50 keys for it so we'd, we're almost at 50 keys uh hopefully we'll get there in the next trade or two i'll let you guys know when i find another trade 
So I just sold my Scorching Flames Killing Tree to Pocket NG2 for 29 keys and a Vintage Tyrant's Helm. Uh, it's around, four, I think it's around like half a key. It's painted black. Uh, the Vintage Tyrant's. Yeah, so the black painted one has a buy order at 26, which is around half a key. So I think that's really good. We bought it for 26, so that's three and a half keys profit. Uh, I've had the head for like about an hour now, or not an hour, like so, like a day maybe. Yeah, but that's really good. We've got get 50 keys and a tyrant's helm now. So damn, all right, we're almost, we're, we're, we've already reached 50, holy shit, wow, okay, two episodes, um, yeah, so I guess I'll just continue to look for quick sells, and, uh, I'll get back to you guys, I'll probably sell this Tyrants, uh, I'm not sure though, because I do main soldier, and I've got a lot of cool soldier things, so I might keep it, but I mean, it's part of the trading series, so most likely I'll sell it to a bot, or maybe use it as a sweet but yeah, I'll get back to you guys. Hey guys, so uh, I had to re-record this. Uh, the last time I recorded this trade, it got corrupted or something. It wouldn't let me use it. So uh, I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna re-record it. Um, I bought this Miami Knights Yield Baker Boy for 10 keys. Uh, I know it's a Robo effect or a Robo hat, but. Uh, the buy orders were at 9.93 for it, so like a couple ref over buy orders, it wasn't too bad. Um, he was the one that said he could do 10. I asked him what the lowest he could go on it was, and he was selling it for 12. So, yeah, I'd be happy to take that trade any day. So here's what it looks like in game. It's a scout hat. Um, pretty cool effect. Not gonna lie. But yeah, I'll get back to you guys when I get another trade. Hey guys, so I just quick bought a Petrescent Pigmentation Champ Stamp for four keys. Um, not the best spell, but the Champ Stamp had Die Job going for five keys, I think. Yeah, so Die Job was going for five keys. Uh, Sinister was going for 7, and uh, Petrescent's on the same tier as um, Sinister, but since uh, I had the only Petrescent one on the market, I felt like maybe I could get a bit more out of it. Um, Chromatic was going for 15, or for 18, and Spectral at 15, so I think 4 keys for a Petrescent Pigmentation one is pretty good. I'll get back to you guys when I get another trade. I just sold the the, 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 the petrescent pigmentation champ stamp for like three and a half keys and a chromatic corruption centurion the uh genuine centurion oh what the hell uh i think it had a seller at six keys i believe uh for chromatic yeah but I mean, he added so much, like it was like three and a half keys. So all I had to do is to sell this for half a key and anything more than that, I'd be profiting on. So I thought it was a pretty good trade. I didn't want to get too greedy on it because uh, I didn't really know if I could get any better offers because the paint was like horrible. Like you could barely notice this spell on the champ stamp. But uh, regardless, I think this is profit. Uh, I'll let you guys know how much I sell the Centurion for. And I'll get back to you guys when I find another trade. Hey guys, so I know I'm a bit late to this. Um, I actually traded this away uh, at the time of this recording. But um, it's around 6 right now. But I quick bought a double spelled law with sinister staining and voices from below for 6 keys. It had buy. Well, like, 
So it's kind of weird because uh, chromatic voices was going for 15 and single spelled ones were going for 10 keys. But Sinister was going for three keys and Voices, I know for a fact, does not add 12 keys on top. So I really didn't want to do more than five. But the guy did some convincing. And um, so I ended up paying six for it. But it did end up paying off because um, I ended up selling both of these for 12 keys pure. Um, to really judge how much profit I got, um, we could see our offer history. Um, we paid four keys for this champ stamp and we got this Centurion and we got around three and a half keys in uh, ads. So essentially anything above 0.5 keys for, um, this hat would be profit. And since we paid six keys for the law, uh, essentially we paid six and a half keys, so like a half a key from this and the six keys from the law. And um, you got 12 in return for it. So that's around five and a half keys profit. Uh, I think that's really good. Uh, we're getting the keys right here. Um, so now we're left with around what I have no idea how to count this um we have 46 no 45 keys uh around a key and sweets uh the Miami Knights ye oiled baker boy I have an offer of 11 on it I'm not sure if I'm gonna take that or not I did pay 10 keys for this so it would be profit either way but yeah, that's what we got so far. I'll get back to you guys when I get another trade. Hey guys, so just a small trade. I ended up selling the Dragon Slayer shotgun and the Vintage Tyrant's Helm painted black for 50 refined in buy orders. So this one had buy orders at like 40.33 refined, and then this is 9.66. This is exactly 50 refined for these two, which is really good. Uh, I just felt like I should include this. But yeah, I'll get back to you guys when I get another trade. Hey guys, so I just did a big trade. Um, I did the Miami Knights Ye, Old, Ye Oiled Baker Boy, the Rock Paper Scissors Taunt, and 17 Keys Pure for a Max's Severed Head. Um, the Max's Head has by orders at 32.67 so i'm just gonna sell it to um to a bot there's a guy selling it for 33 there's a bot selling it for 33 so i don't think i get any more than that but um essentially i bought this baker boy for 10 keys pure so 10 keys plus the 17 here would be what, like 27 and then this taunt right here is 40 ref so I paid 27 keys and 40 ref for a hat with biters at 32 keys and like 30 ref. So what is that? I think that's like four keys profit. And I'm pretty pleased with that. Yeah, I'll get back to you guys when I get another trade. So after selling the Max's head to bot buy orders, uh, we are left with 61 keys. 10 refined uh more like 11 refined so we have 61 keys and some metal that's gonna be it for today's episode um we made some pretty big trades uh this week got a lot of profit uh, had some rough rough moments i'm not gonna lie but in the end it all turned out pretty well i mean forgot how much we started with this episode but um all I know is that we made a shit ton of profit this week. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video and making it to the end. And uh, stay tuned for next week's video. Uh, hopefully we'll make some more profit then. But yeah, y'all have a good one.